What's up, everybody? Ben Renzi here for Hot Chopper. It is Thursday. It's May 16th in the sports world. Let's put a bet on the board. Let's not even waste any time doing anything else besides finding a bet to set the tone for today. I want to welcome you to Hot Chopper, all things betting. Take a look around this channel. Subscribe. Be part of the 100, 130,000 of your friends that already did that yesterday. Let's do a quick recap. Mavericks, we should have took the money line because they won outright. We took the points. Good, good play, though. I was happy with it, obviously. We moved to 10-5. and five in the month of May on this video. So we're happy with that win-loss, happy with the units won. Obviously, it's all about the lines that you're getting, and we've been doing some good work. Let's keep it going today. Hopefully, you've been along for the ride, and hopefully, you're looking to integrate these tools into your process, because that's what it's all about, finding a process that gives you a consistent edge over the books. It's not about hitting one play. It's not about winning one day. It's about finding a method to the madness. Not Chopper has done just that. These tools... The ability to craft parlays, the ability to be in a, a community with sharp-minded betters, 100% has impacted the way I build every day in the betting streets. I want the same for you guys. Obviously, we want you to try out these products. The link is below. Come into the community. Check out the tools. See if it's what you want. You obviously get a little, a little more action for people like me as well if you're looking uh, to get some additional picks. I'm giving one out. One out only here. That's how we do. We set the tone. And let's do that right now. Let's do it right now. Let's find the pick. Uh, people are not going to like this. Sorry, but we're going to the under tonight. Under in the Nuggets Timberwolves game, 204 and a half at minus 110. Yes, everyone likes to bet overs. Yes, they've been scoring a lot. No, that's not predictive whatsoever. Let's talk about the series. It's been fascinating. Fascinating series. Obviously, it looked like Denver was left for dead. One, three straight. Jokic is unbelievable. They're unbelievable. They are the champs uh, for a reason. But I'm not concerned about that. This is a two-point spread. It's all about the tempo. It's all about the efficiency. So tempo-wise, neither of these teams plays fast. It's a very methodical pace. Defensively, they're sound. None of that uh, is worrisome. And that's why you see 204 and a half despite games you know, climbing into like the 215 range in terms of the points. But it's really just been Denver being unreal. I want to just break down their last three games, and it, it doesn't make – uh, it's too difficult to see why it's, they've been scoring like 115 points a game. In game three, they shot 54% from the field, 48% from three, 85% from the free throw line. Extremely solid in all three. In game four, 57% from the field, 45% from three, 80% from the free throw line. Again, ridiculous. Game five, 55% from the field, 47% from three, 83% from the three throw line line three straight games of 50 40 80 plus i mean you're not going to stop anybody like that and if they continue to do that under 204 and a half is going to be in serious trouble unless the timberwolves score like 75 points that's just an unsustainably good offense now maybe denver really has just they've got them uh and there's no way that they can stop them obviously i don't think it's a stretch to say that the nuggets win tonight definitely live to do that but i do think the Minnesota will put forward a good effort. And I do think that Denver is due, particularly from three for some regression. And it's not like the Wolves haven't been awful. They obviously haven't been shooting to that extent, but they've been shooting, you know, 35%, something like that from three in some of these games. So the, the pace is in our favor. The efficiency has not been our in our favor because the Nuggets are on like a historically good efficiency pace. I think that will regress a little bit tonight. I think that the Timberwolves will have some success. And if that's the the you know the situation. I think this crawls a little bit, to be honest. I, I expect a competitive game. 204 and a half at minus 110 is a number that I'm comfortable with. Let's bring the shooting percentages down, and then we'll see what we get. If it still goes over and the pace is up, I'll take my L. Uh, but if we don't get an outlier shooting performance, I actually like the spot to short the over, which has been cashing. I'm going to go with the under 204 and a half at minus 110. Again, I already mentioned you can always find me in Discord talking about these games, talking about soccer, random sports, uh, edges, possible same game parlay stuff that everyone's trying to do, which is find edges on the books. Not to mention it's the first round of the PGA championship. Let's not bury the lead. Certainly plan to talk some golf and see how this course plays. Maybe get in some live action. If you have any questions at all at jazz Raz DFS on Twitter, follow me there. Let's just have a good day. Last thing for me, always, always, always opportunities to take advantages of the books, the bonuses, everything like that. Not even going to rattle them off. Just go to oddchopper.com. Make sure there's a promos tab. If you're looking to have the ability to shop lines, get more access, 
stop over. It's a good idea to be aware and knowledgeable what what's out there. In the meantime, under 204 and a half. Appreciate everyone. Win, lose, or draw. The support is awesome on this video. For me, for Denver, and for Minnesota, great game six tonight. Can't wait to see it. Hopefully we cash a ticket, and win or lose, we'll do it again tomorrow.